Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to the new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. So, I got this here Johnson. Kind of an old school Johnson. I'm not even sure of the year of it just yet. But, I'll show it to you. Now I... Doing a spark check on it. Here's my spark checker hooked up right there. Let's see if I can see what year this puppy is. But it's got some stuff that I can tell right off the bat. Okay, so it's a 19 and 71. This was the plugs that were in there. NGK BUHW-2 and that's the permagap deals like that you would normally find in a mercury so that's what was in in there them two guys yeah but also in there was this box with a note that says Johnson 25 horsepower Champions QL82C. So I'll have to look up what goes in there, but those are the those champions are probably the ones that belong in there. You understand? So, watch the spark checker right there. So, you can see I got one spark. And I follow it around. So, the bottom cylinder is not firing. Also, you can see this electric choke set up. I don't think that spring po to go there at all. I don't think that's how it's supposed to be rigged. So I'll have to get out my book. Lower unit's got a custom paint job. Um, so I'm gonna get out my compression checker and we're gonna do the numbers on this them cylinders. I'll be right back. Top cylinder, about 125. Bottom cylinder, 120. So them's pretty good numbers. And with the spark plugs, being that they were brand new, even though I don't think the ones that go to it, this was laying in there. And you can see that's the cylinder that is not firing. So somebody was trying to do a little troubleshooting on it. But it's time to pull off a flywheel. Let me get set up and I'll be back. So under the flywheel there, things look pretty good. 
Uh, so the first thing I'm going to try is just to take a little bit of this 600 grit and just clean that top set of points and lightly put the flywheel back on there and see if we get something on both. So let me give them a quick, quick clean real quick. If I find me my screwdriver. So, just going to take my screwdriver, open them points. Oxidation on them, I can, and they look like they're cleaning up pretty good. Look at this other set too. Let's see how they look. They're a little black too. All right. So all you do, I'm sure, there's plenty of videos on YouTube. You just take your screwdriver, open the points. You can see where my little piece of sandy paper is. And you pinch it in there like that. And then just give them a little back and forth. So that's what I'm going to do. First. And then. See if we get spark on both. Because I tell you, these points. The whole system under here looks pretty good. So I'm just going to try that first. Then I'm going to set the flywheel back on there. Then, you know what I might try? Get my box my booster box and see if it won't turn this thing over that starter that way I don't have to mess with that recoil so let's see what kind of action we get out of that starter Painted anything. Sparky, sparky. But now I'll take the flywheel off and I'm going to check the gap on them plugs. I mean, on them points. Be right back. So I took the flywheel off and I 
gapped the uh, points with my feel your pain gauge. Um, so, we took the old feeler my gauge and I set it at 20 thou. And uh, then I checked it again. The points look good and clean. And then I remembered that boogered up spark plug boot in. So I re trimmed that, cleaned it all up, put it back, put the boot back on. Now I got both wires away from the block. And let's see. Got my power pack box. I'm gonna hook it to the stopper, which is quite a bit harder than I, you would think. Come on, man, quit being so difficult. Now we got hot sparky on both. So So, we got good hot spark. We know the starter works good. Now that but before I go cleaning all that carb, I'm going to get out one of my older manuals there and look at that electric choke setup. Because that ain't jiving with me. You understand. Be right back. So, I get out my parts catalog. And it goes... This one from 1952 to 1997. So I come to the 25 horsepower. And it shows in between 69 and 76. It should be a J4C. Which now would be an L77 JC4. And you could probably use a QL82C as well. Gapped at 480. So that's what I'm going to put in there. Some... L77 JC4s and I think those will work well in it. Be right back. Okay, so we got the correct plugs in there. We got good hot spark on both cylinders and uh, I haven't addressed the carburetor and several other issues but I'm thinking maybe just See if she'll start, give her a run, see what we got. Got a lot more to do, but before I do, there's something I have to do. I sure do. And here's what it is. Everybody go over to his channel, say happy birthday, and subscribe. You outboard guru. Happy birthday, buddy. Check out his channel, this old outboard. So, you never know.
Alrighty, that's going to be a wrap on part one of this beautiful little 1971 Johnson 25. I uh, still got a lot to do. Got starter buttons and switches and kill switches, man overboard switch, where I'm going to put them, how I'm going to drill them, blah, 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 blah. So we got a lot of work to do. Got to address that carburetor. Got to address that electric choke, which looks pretty rough, so I don't know if that's going to work or not. But anyway, got a long way to go with her. Stay tuned and watch part two. That's going to be a wrap. Thanks for watching.